they do things are you kidding me <laughs> they do things i never would have even thought of trying like it's it's unbelievable just how optimized they've gotten this game like isn't the speedrun world record like under 40 minutes now like that's that's insane to me that they've gotten this game down under under that kind of time it's just wild so I'm hoping I'm hoping that one day um, whenever that sequel comes out it'll be as optimized and we'll be able to get like a solid two hour speed run Because I have a feeling they're going to make the sequel a little bit more story-driven. I know that they're probably going to figure out how to make the sequel into an open world. But if I had to guess, it's going to be a little less open world and it's going to be more story-focused. Because, let's be real, the story of this game is a little weak. It's not bad. It's just a little weak. With Amiibo, it's under 20? Oh my lord. That's really unbelievable. Like, it's, it's just crazy. Something else that I do have planned for a future stream as well. Um, whenever I move out of my parents' house into my, in, into my own place, I'm going to do a stream on a Saturday that starts, like, way earlier in the day, at, like, 2 o'clock in the afternoon, probably. Um, and I'm going to sit through and I'm going to play the entirety of Final Fantasy VII Remake. I'm going to do, like, a speed run, new game plus, easy mode, where I'm maxed out, I'm level 50 with all the best gear and all the best materia. I think, not only will that be super fun to, to watch, I think, but I think it'll be even more fun to play because I'm just going to, like, kill everything in three hits. Including Sephiroth, and I think it'll be just super entertaining. There we go. Now we have Magnesis. I'm pretty sure this is the shrine I should have done first, but... I mean, I could do hard mode, but, like, the the goal is I want to beat the game as quickly as I humanly can. And I think it would be super entertaining to play it in, uh, in easy mode and just, like, wreck everything. I thought that was going to fall on me. Um, I thought there was a chest down there. But also, I would very highly recommend playing that game. It's remarkably fun. Oh, really? Okay. We're gonna do this the hard way. And we'll do it the hard way. Is there anything back here? No? Not that I can see. Alright. Just, uh... Use this. Nice. Nice, Ancient Screw. I've never actually gotten all of the, like, overpowered armor in this game, by the way, so that'll be something else that could be super entertaining to watch as well. Like, just me trying to get all that armor. I am, like, definitely going to get the DLC and play it, which because I know I'm, like, absurdly late to the party on it. Jobler's bow. And of course my inventory is full. Uh, got all these bows. Here, I'll just drop like three of them. Nice. Ah, there we go. And bing. Okay, so now that we have Magnesis, we should be able to cross over there. And I actually think that's probably going to be the easiest thing to do, is just go back that direction and try again. Another game that I would highly recommend if you like open world games is Final Fantasy XV. 
I just started playing that on PC like last week and it's so good. <laughs> like I am a huge fan of that game. It's not real long. Like it's a short Final Fantasy. I think like if you want to beat the story mode, it's like if you just do story mode stuff, it's like 20 hours. Like it's a really short game. But if you try to do all the side quests and stuff, there's like a lot to do. Was there really nothing in there? I got a single arrow. Cool. Actually, Amber's pretty nice. Hey, Opal's also pretty nice. Hello? Hello? There we go. I don't know if I got anything out of that. Oh, I did. It looks like I got some arrows, maybe? There we go. Yeah, there we go. And... Boom. I thought that was going to fall on my head. Dude, Persona 4 Golden is so good. Excellent choice of games. I played that on the PlayStation Vita. Like, back when it came out. Um, great game. Would very highly recommend playing that if you want, like, a really long, but, like, very good JRPG to play. Heck. What the heck? You mean to tell me that doesn't go in there? Oh, it's a Korok! <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Oh, that's so cool. I forgot the Koroks were in here. Um, well, no, I knew they were in here. I just, I like, didn't know there was a Korok there. That was cool. Uh, this one's going to be a little trickier to figure out. I'm gonna have to think about how to do that one. Um, okay. What does the map say? So, we need to go... Rip. <laughs> Very nice. Um, actually, it might make more sense for us to warp over here. Let's travel back to the Shrine of Resurrection for now. Do you guys like Assassin's Creed much? Because I, uh, I've i been thinking about getting Assassin's Creed Valhalla for the PC when that comes out. And that looks like a good game. Like It looks like a lot of fun, but I can't entirely guarantee that it's going to be as good as it looks. Because it almost looks like it could just be classified as a reskin of the, uh, of the Origins and... Um, um, Odyssey sort of variant of the uh, of the games. I don't know though. It looks good. I'll say that much. Like it, 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 it like graphically looks very impressive. I don't know though. I'm I'm a little worried because like Odyssey was like an intensely long game, and I still haven't actually beaten the main story mode. I still have like a good number of things left on the list to do like i still have to fight all the the cult of cosmos members which like that's no small task there's a lot of people in the cult of cosmos to fight so that's one thing i definitely have to do and it like i think i still have a little bit more in the way of the story left after that like i have a i have both of the big dlcs to do which is insane because apparently both those dlcs are like a solid 10 or 15 hours each, so it's it's a long game. And I'm a little worried that Valhalla is going to be the same way. Uh, 
Um, okay. Like, <clears throat> I'm a big fan of games that have a lot of replayability, which is part of the reason I enjoyed this game. Because, like, I haven't played it in so long that I've effectively forgotten what I'm doing. Um, okay. So... Ah, oh, that didn't work. This may not really be worth it, but I'm gonna try. Oh, come on. Oh, no. Come on, give me my bows. Wait, hold on. There we go. Um, let's try an explosive arrow on the dude in the back. I would classify that as being worth it. Nice, and come on, do it. Nice! Heck yeah, brother. Alright, I don't know if there's actually anything working in here. Dude, I've been wanting to play Final Fantasy IX so bad. It's such a good game. What are you playing it on? Because I know they have it on, like, literally everything. I think it's even on mobile now, if I'm not mistaken. Like, I think you can play Final Fantasy IX on your phone. Which is insane. I kind of have to wonder if they're going to do, like, a Final Fantasy X mobile as well. Because I would play X if it was on my phone. Nice, Amber. Xbox, okay. Yeah, it's a good game. I've only played, like, maybe about two-thirds of that game. I never- and I, I- I barely remember any of it. Like, I just kind of know the cast of characters barely, and that's it. I don't really care about that Boko thing. I don't really think I got anything that was really worth it here. Um, but that's okay. Let's do a little bit of cooking. Um... Nice. Um, let's also sit until morning. And then we need to make a couple dishes that can withstand heat. Or, uh, with, withstand cold, rather. So. Um. Hold one of these. Grab our chicken and. How about a mushroom? Which is, I think, is the same recipe we made before. Nice spicy pepper steak. And let's also grab this, this, and like an apple. <laughs> spicy simmered fruit. All right. I would like to think that seven minutes should be enough time. So let's roll with that and let's make it up here to the top for this one. All right, let's go ahead and eat our food. And let's do this thing. Now. We're actually going to need to do it like this, I think. Yeah, there we go. I don't know if this is going to work. Ha ha! Ha 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 ha. We did it, chat. It only took us like 30 minutes longer than it probably should have. But that's okay. Um, it's all the way up at the top of this thing, though. So this probably will suck. As a matter of fact, there's actually a chance I, sh I probably should have made a little bit more. Um, food, to be honest. Although, we'll probably get up there by the time two and a half minutes runs out. And whenever we exit the shrine, we should be able to take another one and then make it over to the final shrine. And then we'll be golden. So probably, for the rest of this stream, um, it'll probably just be 
finishing off this and then we'll call it a night. And then the next stream I do will either be Paper Mario or we'll continue with this. Thanks, doofus. Very nice. Uh, no, 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 no. Don't hit him with that. Thank you. So, I think I killed them all. It looks like it anyway. Oh, wait, no, 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 I didn't. Came very close. Bye. <laughs> All right, and the shrine should just be up here. Yeah, here we are. Nice. Whoops, hit the microphone. All right, let me reposition here because my back's hurting. I'm, I'm definitely going to get myself a new chair whenever I move out to because uh, this office chairs are not great. I mean, it's okay. It's a decent temporary chair. But it's nothing fancy. Okay. Oh, Cryonis. This is the cool trial. This is maybe one of my favorite, if not maybe my actual favorite of the, uh, of the runes that we get. From the tallest peak in the plateau, that's actually something I didn't know. Hmm. I know that I can pick it up from the old man's shrine after I beat um, the Great Plateau. That's something. Um, let's see. Nice. Yeah, I know. Like, it, this is not that hard of a puzzle. Okay, cool. Thanks for congratulating me, but... This isn't that hard of a puzzle. Ow. Thanks. I don't know why I decided building a tower underneath him was the right idea. But I did, for some reason. Um, I suppose it doesn't matter which way I do this. So long as I get up here. Yeah. Oh, nothing. Okay. Wait, hold up. I kind of want that. Um. <gasps> Dang it. Alright, that's fine. This is how we'll do it. I kind of don't care about it then if I've already got something better, so. I think we're ready to get this and get on out of here. One thing I do kind of miss about... And like, like this is something Zelda Man was talking about earlier. Like, one thing I kind of miss about, like, a traditional Zelda game that I wish they would have included in this game is, like, a proper set of dungeons. Like, the Divine Beasts are cool, but, like, they're not really dungeons. They're just kind of a means to an end. The only one that's kind of a real dungeon is Hyrule Castle, honestly. That's what I feel, anyway. Okie dokie. Now, 
There's only one more left, if I'm not mistaken. It's the one over here on the other side of Mount Hylia. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and eat this. And let's head that way. So the top of there, I guess, is what you're referring to. Oh, hello. Uh, well, I'm not going to get all the way up there for now. Hello? Oh, cool. Amber. Thank you. I can at least sell that, I guess. Yeah, moving through snow actually kind of sucks. It's so slow in this game. Am I friends with the Friends Without Benefits guys? Uh, no, I don't know any of them personally. The only one that I know personally is Captain Kid. <clears throat> I've known him for a very, very long time. I'd love to get to, like, meet them, though. I think it'd be super fun to play games with them, and I'm, I'm hoping one day I can eventually meet or play a game with Alpha Rat or something. But it'll be tough for me to ever get that popular since I'll be working full-time pretty shortly. In, like, about a month or so, apparently. I haven't met one of the Friends Without Benefits guys before. I can't remember his name all of a sudden. Um... But, oh, Major. I met Major um, at a Smash tournament in Stillwater one time, actually. Really nice dude. Really, really nice dude. He took part in the Grand Amiibo Invitational, if I'm not mistaken. He, like, he actually was a fighter in there because they used his me. Um, so we're coming around here. I hope it's not like... Okay, well, good. It's right down there. The question is, can I get down there without dying? I think the answer is yes. Yeah, there we go. Hello. There we go. There's a chest under there. I know how to get that one. Oh, what damn shrine. Let's do it, boys. One more shrine, and then we're good to go, basically. For some reason, I thought that was still a cutscene. I didn't think about moving for, for a moment there. Alright. What is this shrine again? Ah, stasis. Let's do this thing. I have to wonder if they're going to add some new runes or something like that to the game. Um, to Breath of the Wild 2. Like, I don't know what else you could add mechanically that's not already in this game. Like, I feel like they touched all the basic Zelda-esque mechanics in this game. Like, what else could they add that would make sense? Oh yeah, we need the camera. That's the last one that we don't have. We'll get that in a little bit. Um cool, so book it. Nice. God, having like no stamina is actually the worst. Uh, nope. Get out of the way. Woo. So you have to be kind of within range to make this work. Can I... It's a good weapon, but I don't have room for it. Uh, okay. Let's, um, drop one of our axes. That should work. Nice. 
And boop. Bye. <laughs> All right. And we did it, guys. So that is four shrines successfully finished. And now we should be able to get the paraglider and we can continue on our way. I don't know how much of the story, like, we're going to do. Like, I kind of want to go get um, all of the different memories unlocked because they are pretty important story elements. But I also... I've already seen them all. I kind of don't care. <laughs> I might just focus on just beating the Divine Beasts in Ganon mostly. And then, of course, whatever shrines I run along the way there. Because I do need to get some stamina... And ideally, some stuff that I can increase my HP through other means. Oh! With this, you have now acquired all the spirit orbs from the shrines of this plateau. <laughs> Extraordinary. Hmm. This means it is finally time. Link, it is finally time for me to tell you everything. But first... Hmm. Imagine an X on your map with the four shrines at those endpoints. Find the X where those lines intersect. I shall wait for you there. Do you understand? Where two lines connecting the shrines would cross, there I will be waiting. Who do you guys think it is? Oh my god, I almost fell. <laughs> uh, we're gonna want to go to... I guess here? In case you're wanting to watch somebody who's, like, actually good at Breath of the Wild, I would highly encourage you guys to go watch uh, a streamer by the name of Point Crow. He's a fantastic uh, Breath of the Wild speedrunner, he's, and he's super entertaining. Highly recommend going and following him. Um, okie dokie. Where are we heading? This way. Oh, very cool. I don't feel like fighting this dude, so... Let's move on. Yeah, I watch all of Point Grow's stuff on YouTube. I'm big, pretty big fan of his. Bruh, come on. Back off of me. There we go. an unusually flat area. I think there would be a fight or something here. I love all the context crew, uh, clues about this. Like, about just what happened here. Small Ant is also very entertaining. I uh, I was a huge fan of... Ow. Their speedrun, their Wikipedia speedrun collaboration they did. <laughs> That's another stream I've actually thought about doing. Because Wikipedia speedruns are actually, like super entertaining to watch. Like, it's interesting. You learn a lot about how a, how a person thinks when watching one of those. Chase, is that that dude that you sent me the other day? Please don't attack me. Ancient screw, thank you. And probably another ancient screw. Okay, that's what I thought. Yeah, that dude's actually pretty entertaining. He he does a bunch of different randomizers and stuff like that. I thought about trying to do a Breath of the Wild randomizer or something like that. But here's kind of the problem. Randomizers for this game are really difficult. Um, modding any kind of Switch game is like notoriously difficult. Hold on. I'm going to get the sneak on this dude. We're going to get the sneak on him. Nice! That's the first time I've ever done that. At least I think it is, anyway. Um, okay, so let's get our stamina upgrade. 
I need to make sure to remember, we're doing just stamina. Yeah, it is really risky because, like, you can actually, like, brick your switch if you're not careful. They have, like, a million other mods, though. They don't have a rando. Yeah, I wasn't sure if they were going to have a randomizer or not. Uh, okay. Stamina vessel. Stamina will. Um, yes. I was actually thinking it might be super fun to do a Minecraft randomizer for one of these streams one time. So, if you guys would be interested in that, let me know and I'll try it. If I can figure out how to make it work. I know it's not that hard to get Minecraft randomizers to work. You know what I was going to do? I was going to do Minecraft Hardcore Mode Bingo today um, instead of this. But I the map for it hasn't been updated in over two years. Actually going on three years. Um, like back in 2017 is the last time it was updated. That's like on a like so much older version of Minecraft that it's basically useless. Yeah, yeah, I'm on my way, old geezer. Um, if I'm not mistaken, there's a ladder. Though I might be mistaken. Oh, well, there's a chest, at least. I'm glad you're in the stream tonight, boy -O -M. Um, We haven't seen you around a whole lot, so it's super nice to have more people involved. So I'm glad you can make it. You said that you had come from the captain's um, shout out to me, right? Or shout out for me, right? Because um, I had like a lot of people that stream. That was wild. There's the ladder. That was like super nice of him to shout out my stream like that. Because without him, I definitely would not still be doing this. Hey, there he is. I just like a taking in this environment. Like, they built a great environment for this game. Ho ho ho! <laughs> well done there, young one. However, it's a cutscene we're gonna skip because we already know it's Bas Farama Habahudihu Hyrule. One must know the story from an age long past. The demon yeah, I know. We're just skipping the cutscenes. We don't care. We've already seen it. So. Hmm. Now we have the paraglider. Which is great. So now we've got basically the keys to the kingdom. Hello. I almost spilled water all over my mechanical keyboard. <sighs> Soldier's bow. Gotcha. <laughs> I will. Don't you worry. We'll save Hyrule on three hearts or I'll be dead. Nice. That is a really good bow. Dang. Okie dokie. So, there's actually something else that I want to go ahead and do before anything else. And that is, um, I want to run back over to his hut because he might have left the warm doublet in his hut over here for me to grab. And then we can kind of just go about our business however we feel like here. Gosh, it's so good to have this thing. This pile of rocks almost looks like a stone talus. Like, suspiciously, it almost looks like a stone talus, but I know it's not. Nice. Brush room. Give me that. And let's see here. Yes, he sure did. Very nice. Uh, is that any more armor? Not really, but it looks cool. Um, okay. So I think our best approach is going to be to warp back up to the tower. And figure out where to go from here, so... I think we are supposed to head to Kakariko Village, which I'll go ahead and do it. And I'll see if I can pick up anything else interesting along the way. But 
probably the next time we pick this up, we're just going to try to kind of go straight for um, Zora's domain and pick up Mipha's Grace. The soldier's sword behind the bomb shrine. I'll have to go look for that. Can't rem <laughs> can't remember which shrine it is now. Um, actually, do I already have the soldier's sword? I thought I did. I have the traveler's sword. I don't have the soldier's sword. Um, okay, so let me see here. Bomb trial. Let me warp over here and see if I can grab that real quick. I'd rather have decent weapons early on if I can help it. So I'll take whatever advice you can throw at me. Calvin, are you alright? You look very sleepy. Psst, psst. Psst, psst, psst. Okay, you're good. He's just very tired. I'm taking him to the vet tomorrow. I'm gonna go uh, take him in just for some blood work, make sure he's doing alright. He's a little fat, but that's okay. Uh, okay, so you said it was behind the bomb shrine. Do you mean, like, literally behind it? Or is it, like... Like, one of those things where it's, like, over here behind... One of these. Because this looks like something I could blow up. It sure is something I could blow up. But that's actually not the way we want to go. I'm assuming you mean, like, behind this wall here. Well? No, but we got something else here. It's a little to the side. Okay. Behind is a little to the side. Okay. Oops. Is it in a chest or is it, um, is it just like laying on the ground somewhere? Hello, there we go. Really trying here, I'm just not seeing it. It's basically there, but you have to look up in a... It's in a stone thing. Oh. Interesting. Okay. I'm still looking for it. Oh, F. Okay. Nope, nope, nope. 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 <laughs> We're not doing that. We're not putting up with that one. Oh, come on. Hey, there's another stone. Oh, nice. It's a ruby. Look at that. A single ruby. This is not good. This might not be worth the effort. I'm getting, uh, barraged. This is not great. I'm gonna go back over here and look over here one more time.
Yeah, I'm not seeing it, so 